Hi and welcome to this practical 365 demonstration. My name is Siegfried Jagert and today I will show you how you verify or test the hybrid agent functionality once you install the hybrid agent. Well, the hybrid configuration wizard in its preview version uh, basically shows you that the agent is running or not. But uh, of course, in order to verify that the functionality is working, you can do some additional things. As a reminder, we are using preview software here, so the demo steps might change once the version is released. Okay, let's start. In order to verify the agent, we need to uh, connect to Exchange Online using PowerShell. The easiest way I found is you click, you open Exchange Admin Center, you click on Office 365 and Hybrid, and you just click on Configure Exchange Online PowerShell module. So now you download the latest version of the PowerShell module and it automatically opens. So then you uh, click Connect XOPPS, XOPSS session and uh, hit Return. Once you do this, you need to log in to your tenant using the Global Administrator account. So this is admin. I type in the password. Then you're connected to your Exchange Online tenant. So once we are connected, basically we need to figure out uh, our remote server identity. And this is done using the get migration endpoint uh, commandlet and here we filter just uh, to identity and remote server and the important thing here is the remote server and you see it's got your unique ID in there and that's the ID that's created by the hybrid agent when you install it first so we need the complete uh, server information and now we uh, test the server connection by using test migration server availability. This commandlet basically reaches out from Exchange Online to your server and makes a test connection. Yeah, and we want to um, do an Exchange Remote move true, true. And the remote server is basically our server that we just pasted from the previous commandlet. And finally, uh, what we do is we use get credentials. We need to enter the local credentials. Yeah? So the local credentials here is the uh, local exchange administrator. Um, that's here. I type in the password and we run the commandlet. The importance here is, well, this will take a couple of seconds. Yeah. But the important thing is that uh, it shows as a result success. Yeah. So this basically means that we are able to move mailboxes to Exchange Online. So additionally, what I normally like to uh, do is to test also the organizational relationship. The organizational relationship basically makes sure that the free busy information can be exchanged. So in order to that, uh, we can uh, we can use the uh, test uh, organization relationship um, commandlet. However, the test requires uh, to uh, to use the get commandlet because we need to uh, use the the relationship uh, that was created by the hybrid configuration wizard when you ran it first. Yeah? So now we use test organ organization relationship yeah? uh, we use uh, user identity and here we need to use a local so an end prom, uh, on premises user so let's use hans k yeah exchange minus lab .de. and when i run it basically what uh, what's done is uh, it reaches out to my exchange server and makes a connection and tries to retrieve the free busy time of hans k so the importance here is uh, the six steps uh, above yeah? uh, and you see uh, they are all with success. So the agent is working correctly. Yeah? 
and in the last steps i found some some of these uh warnings you can ignore because uh, of course they they are common uh, they're created by the system well the the, the the organization relationship is created by the system so as soon as uh, you are able to connect it sh uh, should be fine so you can ignore these yeah so these are the two steps that you can use in order to verify that your agents or hybrid agent preview is working correctly of course if you run into an issue what i would recommend is if you have multiple agents maybe just stop one agent and make sure each age uh, you test that agent at a time if you have only one agent of course then you need to start troubleshooting maybe do a reinstall and verify that the necessary requirements are met as well as the ports to the internet are opened from um, the machine where you install the hybrid agent too. Thank you very much for listening to this demonstration and see you next.